Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Crossbar Roof Rack System. These are available in a variety of lengths and they're available in black and silver. We're going to be using this with the Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Lay Kit for raised factory side rails. These are also available in a variety of different sizes. To see which ones are going to fit your vehicle, please refer to eTrailer.com. One of the great things about having a roof rack system is the ability to carry cargo on top of your roof without having to take up any additional space inside of your vehicle. Now to build a roof rack system, you're going to need a set of crossbars and you're going to need the leg kits that are going to be best suited for your vehicle and your application. Now let's go over a few features that make this roof rack system a great system for you. They're going to be very stylish, they're aerodynamic, so it's going to allow you to build a crossbar roof rack system that's going to offer you a stylish and quiet ride. Each bar features vortex strips in the bar's top C channel. They're going to feature molded ridges that's going to help disrupt the airflow and it's really going to help reduce the drag and wind noise. A few other great features about having those strips in there is it's going to help keep out dirt and dust out of your crossbars. It's also going to provide some cushion for your gear and provide slip resistance. These versatile bars are going to work with channel mounted and wrap around carriers and accessories. Here on the end we have the end cap that includes a fold down tab that's going to provide easy access to the crossbar channel. When using clamp on accessories they simply wrap around your crossbar. The Vortex Aero bars feature channels in the bottom of each bar that's going to allow for easy installation of your Rhino Rack roof rack leg kit. This system also comes with rulers that place in the bottom channels. It's going to help ensure that your crossbars are centered on your roof. It's also going to help reduce drag and wind noise. The leg kit is available with the crossbars or they can be sold separately to help build and complete a roof rack system. The Vortex Aero leg kit has some really great features about it. This part right here is going to slide into the channel on the underside of your crossbar. The bolt's actually going to be located on the inside of your crossbar, so you will need to remove the end cap. Uh, that can be a great feature to help kind of hide that out of the way. And then on the underside, we have the pads that are going to fit nicely around our raised side rails. You can see how they have ridges, as well as this side has a lip to kind of curl around the outer part of the side rail to provide a nice, secure grip. Those ridges are going to keep the foot pack or the leg kit from being able to slide back and forth on your side rail. It also comes with a special tool. Now this is a tensioning tool that's going to be used to tighten up the leg kit around your side rail. It has a nice arc to the handle. Once you have the leg kit tight enough around your side rail, this is actually going to straighten up, assuring you that everything is tight enough. We went ahead and assembled three of our legs to our crossbars, but we do want to show you how to assemble the last one. Really simple, quick installation. All you need to do is remove the end cap, Turn your foot upside down and it's going to slide right into place into that channel on the underside of your crossbar. Replace your end cap. Now we're set to adjust them to fit the width of our side rails and then we can get them secured onto our roof. We're going to go ahead and take our front crossbar and place it onto the front portion of our roof rack here on our side rails. Now when installing this you will want to make sure that the leg kits are straight across from each other. This can be done by finding a fixed point on your side rails and simply taking a measurement back to the closest point of your leg kit. Now we'll take our rear bar and place it on to our side rails. Now with everything in place, we'll go ahead and get it set, make our adjustments, take our measurements, and get everything tightened down. Now to ensure that our rear legs are straight across from each other, we can simply just take a measurement from the center of our front bar to the center of our rear bar. Now in the instructions it states that we need to have a measurement somewhere between 27 and 9 16 of an inch to 31 and a half inches. So for our demonstration today we're just going to go ahead and set them at 30 inches. We'll do this on both sides to ensure the legs are straight across and that our bars are parallel with one another. Now before we tighten everything down we do want to make sure that the gasket here is facing outward and not tucked under the leg. When pressure is applied, the gasket is going to create a nice seal between the leg and the side rail. Also, we need to make sure that we have even bar overhang on each side. This can be done simply by taking a measurement. We'll do this measurement on both sides, once again, to ensure that we have even bar overhang on each side of our vehicle. We'll do it for both the front and the rear. Now we'll remove the end caps and then we can tighten everything down. 
We'll place the tool inside of the crossbar, and then we can simply turn it in a clockwise direction to tighten up the Allen bolt, which is going to secure our leg around our side rail. One of the great things about this system and this tensioning tool is the lever is going to straighten out to let us know that we have everything tight enough around our side rail. We'll want to repeat the same tightening process for each leg. Now for each bar, we're gonna to have to take four measurements. This is so we can install our measuring stick. So two measurements per side. We'll feel out for the opening of the C channel underneath. Place our tape measure to the back of the leg. And so for our application today, it looks like we're gonna take about three inches of that measuring stick to cut out and place in our back part. We'll do another measurement here towards the outer point. And that measurement is gonna be right at three inches. Now, if you have the bar set up evenly, then that measurement should be identical for the other side of the rear bar. But if you just wanna double check, it doesn't hurt to take more measurements on the other side. We'll take our measuring tape and place it over our strip. Now the strip does have measuring increments on there uh, that you can use as well, but since we use the measuring tape, we're just gonna go ahead and get that exact measurement that we need, and then we'll mark it. So I know that I need to make a cut at number 70. Simply take a pair of scissors and just cut that strip. Now we'll go ahead and take our other measurement and I'm going to need one at mark number 100 or 140. So I'll cut there. Now we'll take the strip that we just cut, place it into our channel, and we'll just slide it back in place. It's a pretty good fit, so we'll fit our other piece on the inside. Now we're not going to be able to slide this one into place, but you can feel around and you can simply just push it through the channel. So we got it pushed in there. Now we can slide it into place and we're set to go. We'll repeat this process for the other three legs. Now with everything tight and secure and our measure strips installed, we can install our end caps and then we can take this out on the road and show you how it performs. This roof rack system does have a maximum load capacity, but you do want to make sure that you refer to your vehicle manufacturer's handbook for a maximum roof load capacity. And then you'll want to always use the lower of the two figures. These bars come in a variety of lengths. They come in 41 inch, 44 inch, 49, 54, 59, 65 inch, and 71 inch bars. Each bar is gonna measure three and one eighth of an inch in width, and it's gonna measure one and 13 64th of an inch tall. The Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Bars all come with limited lifetime warranties, and all of the feet for Vortex Aero Bars for factory raised side rails come with limited lifetime warranties as well. You can also equip your crossbars with locking end caps. Those are sold separately with part number RRVA-LEC4. Now we're out on the road and we do not have our crossbar system installed. And when we take a look at our decibel meter, you will see that with the naked roof, it's peaking out at anywhere between 70 and 72. We'll go ahead and compare that with our roof rack system installed. And you can see that it only adds about one decibel with the roof rack system installed, peaking out from 71 to 73.
That's going to do it for today's look at the Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Roof Rack System for raised factory side rails.